Welcome back guys. Uh, this time around I thought I'd uh, do an install of Linux Lite 2.6 uh, the beta version which I installed on my uh, Acer C720 Chromebook. Now I just did a video installing uh, Peppermint 6 and I'm following that up with a Linux Lite and I was able to take some photos of the uh, various screens on the Chromebook during the install process just so you would get a better feel for what you're gonna come up with uh, as you install a distribution on your Chromebook. So as I mentioned before when you install uh, a distribution on your Chromebook it needs to be uh, either using the crouton method which is which installs it alongside your Chrome OS that comes with the Chromebook or uh, to do it the way I did it I uh, as I explained before I decided that I didn't want to keep the Chrome OS on the Chromebook so I went with the uh, just with the Linux install so in order to do that I had to uh, activate legacy BIOS on the Chromebook. Now let me show you what you see when you do that. When you uh, activate CBIOS you're going to come up with uh, when you boot up the machine or turn it on you're going to come up with this screen. Now uh, where it says press escape for boot menu I did press escape and that's the boot menu. One Option one is off of my USB, which has the uh, Linux Lite distro on it, which I use the DD command, uh, which I outlined in a prior video. The second boot option is booting off the hard disk, where I have Ubuntu 1504, and I also have Peppermint 6 installed. So this is the third distribution that I'm installing on my Chromebook. Now once you select one and I'm gonna go through these photos once you select option one you're going to come up with the Linux Lite uh, boot screen. Now as I mentioned before you don't want to select Start Linux Lite. You need to tell the computer that you have enough memory because if you try to boot uh, without telling the computer or the Chromebook that you have enough memory, it will it will give you an error message saying you don't have enough memory. So in order to get around that what we're gonna do is we're gonna press tab to edit the boot options and as you can see it gives you that information on the screen. So it's got automatic boot or if you press tab then you can edit the boot options. So you wanna press tab when you get to the install screen and this applies to most distributions that you're installing it's a little bit of a of a um, uh, flaw in the Chromebook itself so once you press tab and as I said you'll get this boot uh, error message not enough memory to load specified image if you try to boot without telling it how much RAM you have Okay, so if you look at the bottom, and I'm going to back up a little bit to see if I have another, yeah. Okay, so if you look below the Welcome to Linux light box, you see the boot, uh, uh, boot command? And you remember where I said there were a couple of dashes at the end? So you can see that's illustrated here. After quiet splash, there's a space and then two dashes. That's where you're going to add a space, as I mentioned before, 
in a prior video. So you'll add a space. As you can see I did here, you, uh, you add a space and then type MEM equals 1590M and then hit enter. Okay. Once you do that and you hit enter, it's going to boot. It's going to go to the install screen. You'll s now, it's going to take a few minutes for it to cycle through. So the screen may be blank with just a cursor in the left hand side, top left. Make sure you leave it alone because it will start to install and get you to that install screen as you can see here. And once you let it go through its process, you'll be um, you'll be facing the Linux Lite install screen. This is the the black icon here. That is the you'll double click that to start installing Linux Lite. And then just follow through. It's a standard Ubuntu-based distribution install. And as you can see, uh, once I finished, I had uh, a boot screen, a grub boot screen that came up showing me Linux Lite as the first option, Ubuntu 15.04 as my second option, and Peppermint 6 as my third option. So you can see it did configure to show all three options on the grub boot screen. And the install went along fine. Now what you see here is what I am on my Chromebook and I'm using uh, the camera that's built into the Chromebook. I'm still having a couple of issues. One is the microphone uh, the built-in microphone wasn't working so I'm using my headset plugged into the USB on the Chromebook. So that's one issue that I'm still working to resolve. The other issue is the volume up and down keys. Now what I did is I was able to map the brightness to the uh, brightness keys on the Chromebook keyboard. And I'll show you that. As you can see, the brightness is going down, brightness back up. The brightness keys on the keyboard work fine. The volume up and down and the mute is not working, but it works from within the menu. So you can activate from within the menu, as you can see. You can mute it, unmute it, raise it, and lower it. Uh, but the, the, the keys, I have not figured out how to map them. Now, as far as the brightness keys, what I did is um, on your Chromebook, the you'll see uh, at the top row the escape and then a left arrow and right arrow. After the escape key, that's when your F keys start uh, adding. So the left arrow is F1, the right arrow is F2. There's like a uh, refresh uh, button that's F3. And then uh, if you follow up the keyboard, it, it means that the uh, l brightness lower key is F6 and the brightness raise key is, at, is F7. Now I want to show you how I map those. And let's see. Okay, I brought up the uh, settings menu. I clicked on keyboard. 
I cl clicked on application shortcuts. You see, I programmed two programs. X, now, in order to, to create the uh, raise brightness and lower brightness, I had to uh, add the X backlight, X backlight, which should already be installed with your uh, Linux distribution. If it's not, uh, it's sudo apt get install X backlight. So if you put a X backlight minus five, and I put that to the F6 key, and then X backlight plus five, I put that to the F7 key. So that's working. Now I am still trying to figure out what commands I need for the volume. And once I do that, I'll have that mapped. Once I have that mapped, I think the only thing that I will need to work on is the microphone and my USB. Now I was able to get my USB, uh, as you can see, my uh, USB, my, I'm sorry, my Bluetooth uh, headset, I was able to get paired. So the Bluetooth itself is functioning, but I still haven't been able to uh, get the sound coming from the, the headset. So I'm still working on that. Other than that, I have a fully functional Linux Lite distribution on my Chromebook, as you can see. So um, there is really only a couple of issues, and I'll have this thing working as it normally would on your desktop computer. So if you have any questions guys just post them in the um, in the comment section and um, as always please rate comment and subscribe uh, if you have any questions I'll be uh, I'll do my best to answer them and um, I'll be coming back uh, with another video soon so guys uh, thank you for watching uh, take care and I'll see you soon